Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, October 19th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a new moon, so nothing to see this week, really, unless you're looking very close to the sun on either side of that day. The sun is also becoming really quiet on the side facing us. The last few sunspots are sneaking away on this side. These down here are very quiet, so not much going on there. When it comes to drought, uh, we have a little, little bit better, a little bit worse in just a small area. So down here in the southeast plains, it got a little worse. Uh, over here on the western slopes in the south, it uh, got a touch better, but no real change overall. It's nice that we are at this part of the summer, well, fall, but a very crispy time, dry, with this much uh, in the ground. It's keeping everything healthy. So we are as, about as good as anybody in the West, except maybe as part of Montana, Wyoming. So just a little avenue right through here. And going from last week to this week, things got a little worse on the plains and down in the southeast. Well, we didn't get much rain at all. The Four Corners area saw some, but really the rest of the state was as rain-free as we've seen in a long time. Speaking of nothing, uh, we can get severe weather chances. There's only a chance of a thunderstorm like here, I think that's near Buffalo, New York. That's about it there. And then uh, for tomorrow, there's a little chance right on the beach in Florida. That's it. I can't find anything else. And then on Friday, there's no thunderstorms forecast nationwide. It's just really unusual. This is so dry and quiet. Um, so we do have the little snow and uh, precipitation up here around the Great Lakes. We got a cold front thing came through and the low is still wrapping around. The entire west is high and dry. And that sneaks up a little further into uh, Canada. And then finally our next system, the one that might give us some relief on Sunday, starts entering the Pacific Northwest. Speaking of the Pacific Northwest, we have uh, fire up there so they definitely need uh, some rain and snow to move in so a good time up for that because we have smoke coming down and it is getting hazy now Wednesday it's shockingly clear if I showed you Wednesday's map there's nothing within a state of us but the flow from the northwest is going to bring that down and then going to Friday we have a little more smoke pooling here on the front range I-25 corridor and <coughs> like that let me go back one here. Yeah, so we do have a couple fires down here. I, that's interesting. I haven't heard anything in the news about those. So a couple local fires down there. Again, the, the precipitation for the spring and summer has made the vegetation very healthy there. So I imagine these are not going out of control. Maybe that's why they're not in the news. Our normal highs and lows are dropping very rapidly now from 64 to 60 and 36 to down to the freezing mark. Um, the ensemble does have temperatures below freezing, so around the 28th, 27th. So do, uh, that's not a hard freeze. You're not down in the 27 area, though. Some of the model runs do take temperatures down to the teens. Those are pretty out much outliers. Um, you could see some really uh, cold temperatures. So yeah, get that sprinkler system uh, taken care of before the weekend and take care of plants. Uh, look, talking about the weekend, here's the weekend in the beginning of next week. <coughs> uh, we have some ch rain chances, mountain snows as you'll see. They're pretty scattery still, but at least there are some chances. I'll show you a little bit more on that in a second. Here's the big ridge in the west. Here's the beginning of that trough and a little low down here. Here's the low of the Great Lakes and the cold front that's now off the coast for the most part. Going to Wednesday, a little low down here rolling in. The next front's starting to come in Pacific Northwest. And here's that little low that I just pointed to in the water vapor satellite image. Kind of connected to a trough there. We have a big ridge over us, so Thursday's going to be pretty warm. Some models give us 80 or a little bit warmer, uh, most just upper 70s. But Sunday p.m., that's where that big storm comes in. Kind of two lobes to this low pressure, maybe even three, I should have put a little mark there too. So it's a little longer period of unsettled weather and colder temperatures. 
and mountains should get a pretty good hit of snow. This is a pretty vigorous low. Notice how dry it is on the uh, east side of the Rockies though. And snow up here in Montana and down into the Colorado West. Going to Sunday night, still going uh, going snow, showers in the west, and now we have the emergence of some showers into the northeast and central part of the eastern half of the state. So that's our chance right there of getting something. So let's take a look at this big ridge. This is what's making this week so warm. And it gets flattened and pushed away as the next trough starts to dig right down the west coast. A bit of a low starting to form. Not really cut off, but I guess it could be if you picked a different uh, uh, isobar. Not isobar, isohite. No, that's water. Anyways, uh, that trough sweeps through. We have pretty strong north winds behind it. There for next Thursday is another uh, trough coming in. And then in the distance around Halloween, we have a big ridge coming in. Here's October 30th. And that's as far as it goes. <laughs> so it looks like a big storm system is moving in uh, from the west just before Halloween. Take a look at this a large amount of cool air behind that cold front in the east and south. You can see the cities and their warm spots there. That gets replaced by the ridge moving off. Here comes our next cold front. And watch it come right down the front range right there, there, and there sweeping across all of Colorado, putting us quite a good deal below normal. And that moves on. And this is next Wednesday, so when I'm recording again, we'll see a little warm up again. The precipitatable water loop here, really dry. Browns are below normal amount of atmospheric moisture. Here comes a ribbon of water, uh, or at least water vapor, coming in with the next front. And the low forms and moves up. Very vigorous storm system there. And then the dry air behind that front spreads in pretty quickly. Let's take a look at this storm as it approaches. And keeping an eye, of course, on northeast Colorado, we're trying to see what comes over the mountains. But look how long it rains and snows in the western half of the state. There, there, these are six hour periods. So that's more than a day. That's a pretty, pretty nice hit of water. And a lot of our water for agriculture and drinking and civilization comes from the western slopes. Um, so Tuesday, the five-day precipitation forecast had us bone dry an inch and a half or so over here. But just going when the next um, model run come out and now we have precipitation coming in. So it's getting wetter where we are. It's still not a huge wet storm for us at all. Uh, and over the next 10 days, the original had that. So <clears throat> so we go from 70s, just maybe kiss 80 on Thursday, not too far from 80 on Friday and Saturday. Then temperatures drop very quickly, um, possibly as low as 27 on Tuesday morning. So again, yep, get those sprinklers taken care of. You've got about six days to do it. For frequent weather updates and local news, Longmont and Broomfield Leaders.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.